Hello and welcome to my channel, Nicola Yoga. So we're going to do a little bit of a yummy practice today. So you can either do this just simply for relaxation, just when you want to stretch out a little bit, or ideally for bedtime. So we can leave the sweater on, you can leave the socks on if you wish, or however you feel most comfortable. So to start, we're going to start in child's pose. So knees together or knees apart bringing the big toes together and then sitting back onto our heels and you can either use a block or not so either coming down to the forehead or placing the block on its lowest end and then walking the hands out in front so resting with your forehead on the block and breathe so in this way we're keeping the spine just a little bit more level and breathe. Nice long deep breath as you inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth, relaxing the tongue away from the roof of the mouth, relaxing the jaw and settling into your practice, coming into the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the opposite to fight and flight. This also works the central nervous system, the peripheral. Breathing here. Maybe trying to make the exhale longer than the inhale. And when we do that, we reset the vagus nerve at the brain stem, which also connects the the heart, the lungs, the digestive system. Breathing here. Taking the breath down to the abdomen. Exhale, let it all go. Three more breaths here. slowly slowly rise up remove the block to the side and then maybe walking the hands over towards the right side of the body so I'm mirroring you right now so it looks like I'm on my left and resting on the left ear so you feel that in the hips the shoulder side body on that left side rib cage Breathing into the area of tension. Letting it all go. slowly slowly raise the head walk the hands back to center take a breath here and then slowly walk the hands over towards the left when you go as far as your body will allow you to go not over stretching not cranking and again feeling that in the right shoulder this time right side of the waist right side of the rib cage the thoracic 
and the hips to the hands and knees, knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders, four fingers point to 12 o'clock, spread out the fingers like a starfish, curl the fingers so you only feel the pads and the knuckles of the hands, and then inhale as you gaze up, dropping the pelvis, exhale as you round the shoulders, press into the hands, gaze back towards the abdomen or the thighs. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, fold in. Allow that breath to support your body. Exhale. So you're working the whole spine here, the shoulders and the core. Inhale, up to Bittilasana or Cow Pose. Exhale to our stretching cat or Ardha Madrasana. Really slowing down. Taking it slow. Slowing down the breath, slowing down the pose. Three more following our own flow. Pace of breath. So we're articulating the spine here. Now if this is uncomfortable for the wrists, you can also come down to the elbows. And then slowly sit back, cross over the feet, maybe sit back or swing the legs around. I'm going to turn so you can see my socks. And we're going to shimmy shake those soft glutes away from the earth. I'm going to inhale as we bring the hands up, shoulder width apart, ground down through the sit bones, grow tall like you're in that nice 90 degree angle, and then slowly float the hands down towards the knees, the shins, the ankles, all the feet. Now you can micro bend the knees here. Breathe. Nice long deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Now this pose is exceptional for insomnia. Again, working on the parasympathetic nervous system and bringing on the relaxation response. So if you do suffer from insomnia, I would suggest you stay in this for at least 30 breaths and you start to really feel the body start to relax. So we're relaxing the abdomen, the rest of the body is engaged. Breathing through any discomfort, you can even bring your hands and arms underneath the elbows so you keep that micro bend in the knees. Neck extends long, shoulders pull back and down. And a lovely seated forward fold. Inhale, Maybe 
float the eyes close or rest with your gaze towards your ankles or your feet. reach the hands forward, bend at the knees and then slowly, slowly, slowly come down onto your back. I'm going to bring the heels in towards the soft glutes. Now you can remove your socks for this. Plant the hands down and come up to bridge. So Sati Bandha Sarbangasana. It's the waist and the shoulders not in the neck. Neck extends long. You engage the glutes. The pelvis is tucked slightly and we're engaging the core, so we're heavy in the heels, engaging the quads here. Breathe. Slowly, slowly come down on the exhale, one bird weight at a time. Curve the knees in towards the chest. And then bringing the hands to the crease of the baby toe or the heels or bringing the hands to the hamstrings so we're in a happy baby or Nanda Balasana. Knees come in towards the shoulders now elbows can be on the inside of the calves or the outside depending on how open your shoulders are. Tuck the pelvis to the earth and shoulders pull back and down. So ideally the ankles are above the knees. Now if rocking from side to side is in your regular practice, feel free to rock from side to side. Massaging out the lower organs, the kidneys, large and small colon. And coming into supine butterfly or supta barakanasana. So you can put blocks underneath your thighs if you wish or just allow the knees to fall out feeling that nice opening in the hips. Again shoulders come away from the ears, arms come out to the sides, palms facing up, open to receive. Taking a few breaths here, feeling is that lovely stretch in the
back together, hug the knees in towards the chest, rock backwards and forwards, and massaging out the sacral spine. So essentially we're in double wind relieving pose here, massaging out all those lower organs, Pavana Mukhtasana. And then again we're going to bring the heels down close to the sit bones, keeping the ankles and the knees at hip distance apart, we're going to ground the hands down, shoulders come away from the ears, tuck the pelvis, engage the glutes, engage the quads, lift the hips up. Coming back to bridge. So in this bridge we're keeping the thighs in line with the torso. So in a yoga bridge normally we take it up just a little bit further. We're staying in a Pilates bridge today, making it more relaxing, holding here. towards the moon or the sun, depending what time of day it is, and then the other leg up. The micro bend in the knees, maybe reaching your hands out to a T, and start to relax the feet, relaxing the ankles, relaxing the calves, releasing the knees. Releasing the thighs and allowing the energy to come back to the hips, the area of emotion. This pose gives you a lovely little mood boost. Allow the pelvis to become heavy. So the legs up the wall pose, or Sati Banda, sorry, Viparita Karani. Breathing here. Again, nice long deep breaths, relaxing the muscles of the forehead. Relaxing the muscles around the eyes. Relaxing your cheeks. Your jaw. Allow the tongue to release from the roof of the mouth. Relaxing from the crown of the head to the base of the spine. Relaxing your throat, your torso. And breathe. feels really comfortable for you and want to stay here a little bit longer feel free to do so you can pause the video or again bring the knees back in towards the chest again rock backwards and forwards and then finishing in Shavasana so if you have your pajamas on and it's night time taking the feet out to mat distance apart from your bed a little bit wider then your hips, shoulders come away from the ears, arms come away from the body. And relax in, let it all go. Shavasana is the most important pose in yoga. Again, nice long deep breaths in through the nose, past the ribcage, deep into the abdomen. And releasing with a big sigh, let it all go. Inhale, and exhale, again inhale, and exhale, feel the body come heavy, 
almost relaxing, imagining your body just deepening into the surface beneath you as if it's melting. Letting go of anything that no longer serves you as you come into this present moment, finding peace in your practice and coming into a few moments of silence while you settle in and let it all go. A few nice long more deep breaths here, maybe drifting off to sleep. Thank you and Namaste.